All right, so Bertrand here. Um, thank you for checking out this video. I'll try to be uh, as much straight to the point as possible, as usual, and uh, make the best use of your time, okay? So um, I wanted to tell you a bit more about the Trello marketing system. So if you have read the PDF, um, you probably already know a bit about it, but I'm still going to go over the main points and show you in a more visual way um, what Trello does and how, how it can help. Um, your business okay so um, Trail basically can help you stay on top of multiple projects and drastically increase um, your productivity okay so um, why should you manage your projects in the first time and what do, I, what do I mean by a project I mean a project can be like a website you're working on um, it can be a product you're working on or service you are planning to offer or you're already offering okay so um, the great thing about having a project management system is that you can keep um, all your team on the same page if you're working with people and as well um, you can stay on track um, of the tasks that you need to do okay because oftentimes you know if, if you get in into you know you start building a website and then you know time flies and you have to do SEO and you have to get traffic and so on you can you can forget the small tasks that you have to do if you don't keep track of those okay so um, that's that's one of the reason why um, it's pretty it's pretty useful to manage and keep track of your project so you always know what to do next and what's the next step um, to push your project forward okay so now that we got this out of the way I wanted to share you to show you how Trello works okay so Basically, um, Trello works um, the following way. The first thing is that you have a board, okay? So the board is the entire screen, okay? So this is basically a board is usually a project, okay? So it could be um, a website you're working on, so you could call your board like, you know, um, my website, okay? Then within the board, you have lists, okay? So um, as you can see, this is a list, the first one, and this is another list and a third list. And within lists, you can have cards, okay? So um, I just added a card here, and I'll say this is a card, okay? Now, the great thing with Trail is that you can move your lists around, okay? And you can also move cards across lists. Okay, so in this case, you can see that this card can go in any list here, okay? So now, the system is very flexible. It's really what you make of it, well, what you make of it, because you could, you know, potentially use this for, 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 for all kinds of purposes. But in our case, we want to use it to push forward our projects, okay? Our websites, our ad, AdSense sites, our affiliate sites, our, our products. So... To do this, we basically use Trail as a platform, and on top of this, the system that we use um, is originally called a uh, cabin boards. Okay, so um, in this image, you can see the the principle of the board. It's actually a, a system that you know people usually use in um, in software companies. Okay, so you have a board and the first list. Okay, in this board is your to do stuff. Okay. The second list is doing and the third list is done, okay? So basically in your to-do stuff, this is the stuff that, you know, you need to do at some point, but, you know, you're not doing that, them now, okay? So basically all the tasks, okay, that, you know, you put here are tasks that you leave for the future. The doing um, list is where you put the task that you know you are doing right now the stuff that you are working at the moment and once you are done with the doing task um, you move them into the done list okay so it's done it's in this list and you can uh, declutter your doing list okay and similarly when when you have nothing left in your doing list then you go back to your to do you drag one of your tasks here and move it into um, the doing board okay so I'm going to try to demonstrate this here um, for instance for this card I'm gonna edit it I'm gonna say um, get backlinks okay 
So that's something I need to do in the future, and I'm going to rename this list um, to do. Okay. Now, next one would be doing. And basically, let's say now I'm writing a blog post. Okay. And the third list, my last list, would be done. Okay. Now, and let's say I have another um, to do stuff is add blog post to blog okay so as you can see uh, basically um, let's say I, I, I'm writing my blog post okay so this card will be in the doing list once, once I'm done with writing my blog post I will move it to done okay so I know it's out of the way and as you can see I have nothing here in the doing column okay so if I have nothing then I go back to my to-do list and put um, had blog post to blog in the doing section okay now I can go into my blog had the blog post and move it in the done section so this is basically how the system works okay so um, you can use um, this exact this exact system the to do doing done okay so that that pretty much um, that works pretty well but if you want to step it up um, um, I will show you the system I use, um, which is loosely based on, on this system, okay? So it's pretty much the same, it's just a, a couple more um, lists, okay? And before I forget um, about some of the features that we have here, okay? So basically, um, the cards that you had, okay? So I can add another card like um, do SEO, okay? So this is a task, pretty much, okay? So that's how you, you should think of of um, of cards as tasks okay and the great thing with Trello is that you can zoom in on any uh, task okay and add some extra details for instance you know I can say um, you know um, get backlinks and, and do uh, on page SEO here okay so that would be um, what I have to do to do the SEO okay and I can also, you know, add some stuff like labels, you know, if I want to to mark it visually, okay. Or I could um, add a checklist, okay, of stuff I have to do. So, for instance, I could add an on-page SEO, um, metadata, and so on, okay. So then, you know, you can have a list of um, of subtask within the task, okay. And let's say I'm, I'm done with the on page SEO, so I'll do on page and off page SEO, okay. So let's say I'm done with the on page SEO, I will simply tick it, and here it says 50%, okay. So I'm 50% done through, uh, through the do SEO part, okay. And um, one of the other cool feature is the due date, so I can say that for instance. I need to do the off page. I need to do. I need to do the SEO. So this task by you know October 31st. Okay, and this will show as a due date here, and um, also here on the task. Okay, so you can see it's due on October 31st. So that's some of the features that you can use. Um, another very cool thing is that you can assign. Uh, people to task okay so you can see I have my profile icon here if I move it under um, for instance add blog post to blog then I can see that you know I'm responsible for this task and when you have other team members you can assi assign them to other tasks as well and you can even have multiple members within a single task and whereas it gets good, it's in the comment section, okay? So, I mean, if you're working on, on, on SEO or on, on getting some designs done, you can, within the task, you can comment and communicate with the person you're working with. So as you can see, um, it can get very, very powerful. Now, this is the basic way of doing it. So to do, doing done. Now, if you want to step it up, um, this is a board we are currently working on. This is a live board. And I'm going to show you basically um, how, how we use it. Okay, so the, 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 the principle is pretty much the same. So we'll start from the first list, which is on the left, and the last list is on the right. So remember, your, your cards always move from left to write in general, you know, unless there's a problem and you need to move something back to the backlog or, or whatever, okay? So the first list 
is the backlog. Okay, so the backlog is stuff that you know you will do in the future at some point, but it's not urgent. You know, it's it's like the kind of stuff that comes to the back of your mind. Um, like I don't know, uh, get more articles or or, or or whatever, you know. But you, you you just you just don't. It's just not a priority, you know. So you move it, you move all these tasks to the backlog, okay. Then you have the next step column, okay. So next step is stuff that you know that comes next, okay. So this is stuff that basically um, you have to do. They are pretty important tasks and um, you want them to be in the next step column. So anything that is not, you know, um, so urgent can go into the backlog and everything that comes next is next step, okay? And then we have the in progress column, okay? So this is like, it's like the doing column in the, um, the old system, okay? So in progress is stuff that, you know, you are currently working on and it's it's ongoing okay so you're doing it right now then you have quality check okay so quality check is basically once you are done with an in progress task okay so let's say um, this task here is to complete the the community page so complete the forum okay so once you are done with it we will move it to quality check this means that you know someone should review this task and make sure that everything is good so basically the idea here is that you should you know always double check you know whatever task or whatever works so let's say for instance you know um you created a blog post okay and you moved it to quality check now in quality check you want to double check you know that there are, there's no spelling mistakes and that everything goes together okay so this is um, very useful and, and very powerful as well just to make sure that you know so this way you don't have to go back later on because you know there's something wrong so always move stuff to the quality check list first and once um, the quality has been checked and you're happy with the result you can move it to the live tab okay so the live tab means that you know it's pretty much done it's life and there there is nothing else to add to it okay and and this way with this workflow you can you can really get a lot done you know so for instance here um, I'm gonna show you more about the collaboration features okay so you can see that on this on this board there are three people okay so that's me that's uh, my JV partner and that's uh, that's the the website developer okay so basically um, on, on this task we work um, together okay so for instance um, okay let's say the improve uh, I'm already done with this but I'm going to move it here just so that you can see um, improve header design okay so this is a task I had to do but let's say I wanted to work with my partner on this okay so I would just take his, his, um, his image here and drag it into this task okay and now we are both working on it I mean when my partner logs in he sees all the cards where I see these pictures you know where, where I see my picture it means that you know I'm the one who, who has to done it so that's a pretty cool feature and basically what you can do with this is have a lot of people working on the same task okay so for instance here we, we had to figure a way to um, to upload um, the videos okay to the site okay and basically we put um, our we put us free on the card so that's me the part my partner and and the developer and ultimately you know we managed to pull it together because you know we're working um, we're working together at the same time um, with emails it would have been a lot of back and forth and so on but here it's pretty clear, you know, um, we are free on this on this task. We have to upload the videos in some ways and we just figure things out. OK, so um, that's one of the cool feature. And that's basically how the whole system works. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I could add to that. Let me see. Uh, no, so basically this is how trailer works and this is how you can use it. Okay, so I mean rather than bore you with a long speech I think I have 
you know, I've covered most of it and, you know, it's already 15 minutes. Um, I advise, you know, you get on, I mean, if, if that's something you 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 like to try out, you know, you get on with Trail, you sign up, it's totally free for now. And, um, and you basically start playing with it, you know, and you will soon, you know, see the power and how it can help you. And, you know, you don't have, you don't necessarily to work, you don't necessarily need to work in a team to get it to work. I mean, you can, you can, you can have a, a board just for yourself. And I, I often do that sometimes, you know, sometimes I, I have a micro project I need to work on and I don't need anyone from the team. So I'll just create a quick board just for myself, you know, like the following board here and where I will add all the tasks and everything I need to do and then, you know, just get it done little by little. But it's definitely a great way um, to have an overview of your project, to know what needs to be done and to really focus, okay? Because when you see the, the in progress tab here, um, you know what you have to do and you know, you know, you just can't, you know, you just can't mess around and, and do something else and, you know, um, get distracted, okay? Because this is in progress and if there is nothing in the in progress tab and um, that means that you know some, something is wrong i mean there should be something okay so then if there is nothing you will take you know the next the next um task in the uh, in the backlog or in the to-do list in this case and you move it to in progress okay so um that's pretty much all you can use um trail for your business um i hope this video has been helpful uh, make sure to read um, the guide, the, the PDF that comes with it, where I go into a little more details and and then, you know, simply sign up, you know, get started. And if you have any questions, you can leave your questions in the blog. I'll be um, very happy to, 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 to answer them. And, you know, again, like, like I, I said, I think at the end of the PDF, you know, a lot of what we do online is that, Oftentimes, you know, we, 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 we try to build bridges between, I mean, it's like building a bridge between two river banks, you know, um, like when you're creating an affiliate site or creating a product, you know, and as internet marketers, we can easily get distracted and, you know, we won't complete the bridge, you know, we'll be left with, a, with an unfinished bridge, you know, we won't reach our objectives. and. I mean, until I use, you know, systems like this one, proper, you know, project management systems, I mean, I'm the kind of person that gets easily distracted. And I know a lot of people are in the same situation. And until I use this kind of system, I used to, I used to have a ton of, you know, unfinished bridges, you know, like, like half done websites where, you know, I did all the content, but didn't do the SEO, you know, or didn't create the product or didn't, you know, um, improve the conversion. So... Once you use something like this, if you are someone that gets easily distracted, then at least, you know, you're always on track with your goals and what you need to do. So I hope this has been helpful to you and um, thanks a lot for, for watching. All the best.